Hello YouTube, it's the Covenator here. It's been a while since I've done a flight video, so we're going to be taking a look at some new things. Uh, first, uh, FS Economy, and then Prepared, and A2A's Cessna 182 Skylane. First, FS Economy, what is it? It's a virtual economy um, that uh, you can rent planes, even buy planes yourself. And what's cool about it is you're taking uh, flights that uh, other players have created. And installation is pretty straightforward. You get access to the forums, and then you get the client, and then you're off and running. Um, I'm looking for any kind of ferry flight from KHAO. Using the Cessna, there are none, so we're going to search for a flight here for a rentable within 50 miles. And we can see that uh, we got Cincinnati, uh, Kilo Charlie Victor Golf, and we can pick up our uh, passengers here. We're we'll try and find a short hop uh, we'll use KOXD it's only 28 nautical miles and uh, $500 a pop that should yield us about 1500 bucks we'll go ahead and rent it dry at $45 and uh, weather should be nice so should be uh, should be a really nice flight so let's take a look at the uh, flight real quick in sky vector before we get started and prepared uh, pretty straightforward flight. Uh, it's going to be a direct two flight. So nothing out of the ordinary there. So here we are in prepared. Uh, prepared is basically, uh, think of it as an updated version of FSX. Um, it's uh, not 64 bit, still 32 bit, and still, uh, you know, it's still pretty early on. I think. Uh, Probably at the recording at the time of the recording of this video, um, I think we're on version two. I'm also looking at A2A's uh, Cessna 182 Skylane. It is an AccuSim plane, meaning that it is a study grade aircraft, and uh, you do have to do maintenance on this aircraft, if especially if it is not flown correctly. Uh, changing spark plugs, changing oil, all that kind of stuff. It's got a built-in uh, walk around, uh, which we are going to do because we are here bright and early before our passengers have arrived. Uh, we're going to uh, get the flaps fully down, uh, get the uh, the uh, pitot heat, which is good. Uh, check to make sure that uh, the plane is ready to go here. Straps are off, leakages look good, and this is one of the things that you have to check because uh, with this being an AccuSim plane, these leakages can wear, and uh, you can run into problems. Um, I've actually have experienced that firsthand, and uh, let me tell you, it's not any fun. So it looks like uh, gas is good. Uh, checking uh, for any kind of blockage, the cowling. It all looks okay, and uh, our oil level's good. We'll go ahead and check the fuel in the left wing, and remove our chocks, remove our tie downs, check our stall horn, all that good stuff. Again, checking for our linkages, and that all looks good. So uh, the next thing we need to do is get this thing uh, prepped with our passengers and get ready to take off here. So uh, actually we'll put the put the red head up front. That's how I roll. So uh, looks like we are all good there. And you really can't see it, but in the background I have started the client. So it is now tracking me. It sees that I'm in the C-182 Skylane and I'm at KCVG. My passengers are loaded and it's I'm basically keeping track of the flight. No cheating allowed. All right, so we're going to go through the checklist here real quick. Uh, we've already done our weight and balance check, parking brake check, control wheel lock removed, uh, ignition and avionics off, now master switch on, uh, check quantity, which is good, uh, static pressure alt source valve off, enunciator panel check, good. Uh, fuel selector valve to both, already did that. Cow flaps open. Uh, flaps extend, which we already did. Master switch off. 
and uh, I need to set the trim down, and it's going to take forever, so I'm going to cut here and bind that to my joystick. So I am back with the magical powers of video editing, and we are going to get this thing ready to start. Throttle cracked, mixture out, prop control in. Let me just reset my track R here real quick. Uh, master switch on, beacon on, and uh, our cow flips are already open. We're going to turn on all our lights, and uh, we're going to prime the engine with the fuel pump. And that's where I would yell clear prop, but I won't. And crank this over, see what happens. Didn't want to start that time. It's a little. It's a little cold this morning. The sun hasn't come out yet. There we go. Got her going. Go full rich. And uh, it looks like we've done pretty much everything on there except for radios. So we'll go ahead and kill that. And we'll take a look at our instruments here. Make sure everything's in the green. Uh, fuel levels green. Uh, we got good amperage draw. Good manifold pressure so uh, everything looks good so we'll go ahead and lead the mixture out for uh, ground ops and we'll go ahead and get our uh, radio set up uh, prepared's got a built-in ATC menu which I'm going to take advantage of and uh, we'll listen to ATIS It's getting kind of foggy outside. Uh, let's see what we can do to clear that up a little bit. As it gets warm in the cabin, it's colder on the outside. That's going to happen. And uh, I love little details like that. All right, we're going to get a hold of ground and tell them that uh, we would like to request taxi departure to the north. Acknowledge taxi clearance and we're going to remove the parking brake and get this thing set. I've already got my heading bug set to uh, 360 or 0 degrees. Uh, that is the direction that we will be taking off. And uh, ooh, getting, these, uh, getting used to this differential braking is kind of interesting. And it uh, looks like the luggage guy has showed up here. Which uh, we don't really need, but thanks anyway. Uh, we acknowledge the traffic and we are going to continue taxi. I know I'm going to be taking off in the direction that I'm facing, so, and we are taking off on 3 6 right. So I just needed to make a right-hand turn. Um, they were giving me directions on the taxi way, which was Mike Sierra Tango. This is Mike right here. So we'll take a right on Mike, take another right on Sierra, and then uh, a left onto Tango. And uh, with this being a international airport, it's pretty huge. So I am going to fast forward the taxi. Uh, it'd take me a good 10 minutes just to get down there, probably. Here we are, rolling at the end of Sierra, getting ready to turn left onto Tango. And this is actually where uh, I'll go ahead and do my run-up checks. Um, actually, I'd probably do a little bit of a run-up uh, run check uh, back when we were in parking uh, in 
real life, but uh, I kind of forgot to do that, so we'll uh, we'll do our run-up checks here, and then we'll get a hold of ground for takeoff clearance. get this thing up and then do our mag check we'll do our uh, prop check Idle check. That's all in the green. So, uh, let's see, we'll turn our taxi lights off, landing light on, nav strobe on, lights look good. We'll uh, contact ground and get takeoff clearance. Telling us to hold short, so there must be a plane coming in to land. Yep, I can see its lights. Alright, we're going to have to wait for him to actually leave the runway before we can depart. So, uh, I'm going to use that time just to check a couple of uh, quick things. Let's see. Uh, with it being calm winds, I probably don't need full flaps on takeoff. Um, we'll go ahead and lean the mixture out a little bit since we might be here for another minute or two. Actually, I think I'm going to go full flaps up and then one stage down. It is calm winds. Beautiful day for flying. Alright, looks like the plane's getting off. They're passing them off the ground. And uh, the tower has now cleared us. And I probably said, you know, contact ground for clearance to take off earlier. I meant tower. All right, let's go ahead and take off. Looks like we are clear. Lights, camera, action. Going full throttle, get it centered on the runway. We are going to pitch for VY until we reach safety altitude. Probably to make this uh, video just a little shorter, I will probably, as soon as uh, 
we leave the outer marker of the airport, I'll probably uh, cut the video short as I climb. And then uh, we'll show a little bit of cruise, and then we'll also cut the video again on the descent, and then I'll show the landing. Um, so far, I'm pretty happy with prepared. Uh, this is the academic version. Um, which will run you about 60 bucks. Um, if you already have FSX and a bunch of add-ons, um, I don't know if I'd necessarily run out to buy prepared right away. It does have some minor tweaks, um, some graphical things, but it is still 32-bit. I, I, I would probably wait till the 64-bit version came out. If you're wondering what that beaming is, that is the outer marker. And uh, now we're going to press clearance to Bravo Airspace. menu is pretty sweet I mean it's uh, as I'm pumping through here it's setting my squat code doing everything for me um, eventually once uh, I get the hang of things I probably won't uh, use that as a crutch I'd actually be turning the little dials so here we are uh, I'm almost at the top of my climb I want to climb to about 6,500 feet today uh, might go a little lower or a little higher depending on cloud level but uh, right now I'm aiming for 6,500 feet. And they're telling me that there is traffic in sight. It's at my 7 o'clock, so I'm not too worried there. It's behind me. Okay, here we are at the, uh, at the top of my climb. Um, one of the things that I can say right away that Prepared is doing a better job. I mean, this is this is out of the box with no scenery add-ons at all. Um, it looks like the clouds are a lot better. I mean, it's uh, looks like they're volumetric clouds, which is kind of what you would expect in a modern-day sim. Cloud, uh, clouds are fantastic. They look very realistic. I like too how uh, A2A's modeling includes the passengers. I wish it would show the passengers while you're inside the plane, though. That would be uh, that'd be really cool. bit off track there while we were checking out the external views so we get back on course and uh, we're about uh, probably about 10 miles from the airport so we're going to be starting our descent and uh, I'm going to speed up the video
down still, and uh, I'm finding the uh, airport on the radio and announcing my position. And my intentions to land on runway 5. I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, this is a VFR flight, so I'm doing my own navigation. Uh, and the airport that I'm landing at does not have a tower. It's an uncontrolled airport. So uh, we're doing our own thing here, which is kind of how I like to do it. We're going to do a right hand pattern. Now, not uh, having ever landed at this airport, I'm going to give myself plenty of room here. That's one of the things that I kind of like about FS Economy is as I'm working up through the ranks and making money, uh, I could see it pushing me to fly places that I normally don't fly. And just trying to keep an eyeball on the airport there. It is a VFR flight after all. get this get this thing down a little bit so it's one of those things that just takes a lot of practice and I'm sure I'm gonna screw it up because uh, it's been a while since I've flown a Cessna um, I am way too high and I'm going way too fast and I am not lined up with the runway so we got a lot to do here like I'm uh, lined up here and uh, doesn't look like there's any pappy lights on the runway at least uh, ones that I can't really see looks like there's some trees uh, right before the runway which is going to make this it's going to make it interesting Also looks like uh, the runway is pretty short. I am not sure of what the approach speed is on the Cessna. I want to say uh, I know that it's probably about 60, maybe 70 knots, something like that. I'm just going to keep uh, keep my airspeed up a little higher than that because of these trees. And uh, looks like I'm probably still a little high. I do not like those trees at all. We are in my way. We'll have to level off here a little bit, go right over the trees, and then uh, see if we can make a good approach. Alright, the field is made at this point and uh, I'm going way too fast. I'm probably going to, I'm going to try not to, but I'm probably going to money hop it a little bit here. Ooh, it, it is a short runway. I, I do not have much time at all.
that's what happens when you come in too fast. Those full flaps too. Not too bad. Got everybody down in one piece. Okay, overall, like prepared, especially uh, if you're wanting to get into flight simulation, it'd be a good option for you. Um, I do believe there is another uh, flight sim coming out on the horizons. Uh, Dovetail, basically, just to back up here a little bit, prepared bought the ESP version of Microsoft FSX, which is the commercial version, and then Dovetail Games bought the uh, the non-commercial version, you know, the regular just Microsoft Flight Simulator. So they're coming out with a game called, I believe it's called Dovetail Games Flight School, or Dovetail Flight School, or something like that. It's not the full simulator; it's more of like a flight training. Kind of thing, and then they'll come out with a full simulator later. Uh, the good thing about it is, reportedly, it is supposed to be 64 bit. So that'll be interesting to see. I've been doing most of my flying in X plane. So yeah, since uh, since it's been a while since I've done a flight video, I figured I'd try doing something new. Go ahead and uh, get this plane shut down, get the lights shut off, and uh, get the engine stopped, get the, uh, the radios turned off, and finally the plane. Now again, you can't see it in this video, but uh, I went out to the client, shut it down, it logged my flight, you can see that I am $1,392. Richer? Why isn't it 1500? Well, I had some costs. I had the rental fee, had fuel costs. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.